Hey guys, what's up? This is Yubo Puss here, and today I'm gonna show you guys my, as you guys can obviously can tell, can tell, on updated and post version for my hero type profile for post uh, Legend of Judas Magical Hero and the uh, January 2020 ban list because all of those things like affected this thing like quite a bit. So I know that I just did a hero list a couple of weeks back. So if you guys are still want to well play play by the list or or at least take a take a look at it, you guys can still play and look at the list if you guys really wished. But I think this list is better compared to the last. Last list because, like I said, the J January 2020 ban list has, has been leaked out and the uh, Jonas Magical Hero has, you know, just gotten, gotten, gotten released. So, yeah, so this list is ha has cards from the Magical Hero from, from the Legend Jonas on them and I'm going to show it to you guys right now. So, for the hero lineup, it doesn't really change much so it's still the seven of these um three ferris two increase and the double vion uh bias effect to banish the hill and such poly is is really really good now uh for the hero heroes is three malicious plasma and it's up to that uh, I cut. I put it in as last year because uh, Celestia is is easier on only for time because I didn't know that those beers like to burn. You need to target at level four or low, or lower deal in your gonna be here. And Dino Attack is is a level five, so you cannot burn your opponent with with Dinosaur if you have a Dino Attack in, in your deck. So that's why Celestia is in here, and. Uh, it's on third pack is pretty neat because when this guy declares an attack, uh, you can pop a face of spell. You, you open it, open it has, and then th and then they they take five. So it comes that pack. It comes up sometimes. I mean, not all the time, but it can come up if you open it and has like a spell floodgate, like like a D feature or or, or something. Uh, but the EO lineup is two Shadow Mans because one's not enough and three is too many. Two is the right number. Uh, Solo Soldier is really, really good as with the Eco Soldier. Um, this is one of the cards that came from the Magical, Magical Hero. Um, this card has two effects. The only reason why I only can pick one copy of this card is that it has two good effects, but you can only use one of them and only once a turn. And, uh, is the almost summon effect is you target a level four or lower you almost and you're gonna be and then you spread a summon it and then uh, his second effect is really really good that's more mainly the reason why I'm playing this card uh, his second effect is when this card is used as a fusion material for the fusion summon of a hero monster and or get banished for the fusion summon over a hero monster you draw to and then this card one so this card is really really good and uh, this card is, is a water monster, so you can go absolute zero onto it. And one last hero monster that I play it, that's gonna confuse a lot of the guys is oh, I play one Stratos. Uh, in the last list, I played two, and in this new one, I'm playing just a one because I know it's very, very strange. Strange that I. I'm only playing one Stratos, but le le I'm gonna explain. Uh, the reason why I'm playing one Stratos is that uh, compared to the other heroes, it doesn't really. It's not that good of an extender. Sure, it's if it's effective, such any hero in your deck is really good, but the most of the time, I feel like most of the a lot of times I summon Stratos. Uh, I just use a such a pack like once and then use the uh, and then like bring back Strato somewhere and then use this pack to pop aggro. That's many of the that's like the most benefit that I get from this card. And 
you play play multiple striders where well, opening multiple striders is really very really break breaky and there are uh, like a lot of ways to like search this car I mean you play hero lips a rotor and three ecos so and and including the one strider you're playing six copies of it so I think playing the one strider is pretty much justified to play one copy in, in the main deck I know it is really really weird like Seeing Stratos at like one of it in, in, in the main deck, but I think one Strato is fine. It's really for the fun. Sure, it's a good card, but you don't want to open or break with it. You want to see more of your combo extensions like the Ferrises instead of the Stratos. So, yeah, and uh, the last year is Honest Neos. Uh, it's good for OTKs and it helped. Do you like get like you know about like almost any monster? And the last heal is a Justice God. Still not playing Necrom, still not playing Melissa's Edge because those are like the worst breaks that you want that you can possibly draw or open into. And I play six hundred in the form of a uh, three Ash Blossom because it's the like, universally the best hand trap and three Impermanence. So yeah, so that's the hand traps. Now, now the spells on um, three fusion destiny. Uh, base. this card is basically three foolish barriers that did you play in the main deck. Uh, you have to like really really careful about when you play this card. Sure, it's a really, really good extender, but the turn you activate this card, you're only lucky the Dark Hero, so you cannot do your uh, Miracle Vision plays the turn that you activate this card. So you need to be like really, really cautious with it. Uh, three Emergency Call. Uh, three Mass Change. Uh, and the Broken one ups which are Hero Lips, Rotor. Reborn, Polly, Dark Calling for the Militia Spain, Miracle Vision because it's for the Sunrise, and uh, as the 41st card, I want to try this card out, and that is One Power of Avarice. Um, this card is actually really, really insane, especially when you're going first because as you're doing the combo, you make your board and then you shuffle. Shuffle like everything back with part of Avarice and then you draw your card. So you shuffle back all your Ferrises, your increases, your Vions, basically everything back to the deck so that you can combo up again on the following turn. So yeah, this card is is really really good. And also, if you do your uh, Eco Soldier plays and your Avarice plays, and then you don't get Nibiru, you complete your full field, which is a Sunrise, a Crusader. Dark Law and the Plasma if you open really really broken and then you draw you and then you draw two cards and discard one card off of up of Eco Soldier and then if you open Avarice you shuffle everything back and draw draw two more so you you so you end it up with the ending board and you have like six cards in your hand. So yeah that's like really really good. And also Eco Soldier and Empire of Avarice yeah. It helps you get around Nibiru quite a bit. Sure, they average your board, but you but you shuffle everything back uh, with the average, and then you sir have have your hand pretty much because of the equal soldier. So yeah, I will really like average in the main deck for that reason. Uh, so that's the main thing. It's a forty forty card main, forty one card main. Now for the extra deck, it didn't really. I mean it. D change, but I think it's nothing really special. I mean, there are special guys in the extra deck, but so I will explain. Uh, two Crusader, um, I think you still need to come up with this. Um, it's the big, it's really, really good. Uh, Wonder Driver, I never thought that I'm never gonna put the, I'm ever gonna put this in, but with this guy, every time you summon a hero to a zone to Disco Poison, uh, it gets back mass change, your polys and your miracle version, so you. Pretty much resolve multiple polys and multiple mutual visions in one turn. So cards will be really good and it's bullying bullying pack is eh because when this card is is destroyed by or by a card pack and sent to the pack, you summon a hero from your hand. But 
that's not the reason why you put it in the sky. You use the sky to, to like, resolve multiple parties and multiple map changes and multiple uh, music visions in one turn. That's the main reason why you put it in the sky, not the balloon effect. That, that sucks. Um, Dry Decimator, um, in the last list, I talk about I'm gonna cut this card, but through our play testing, you actually need this card for, for, for game, and since now I'm playing, I'm not playing Dynatag, you, you, I realize I need this card for Tassopia's place, so I can pop, I can pop one face of card that on the field. So this is basically here for, for going for game, and for Dystopia players, because it gives you one interruption during your opponent's turn with Dystopia. Uh, moving on, uh, the two Dark Law, because it's Dark Law. Um, Anki per game. Um, Acid and Absolute Zero, because you guys can actually play this now. Play this now, because you, with the Eco Soldier and the Merrick Vision, um, this is basically you Black Rose your opponent's entire board. And if you have, if you have Dark Law on the field, uh, you, you banish everything. Like, banish everything. That, like, that's so much value. Um, I'm playing one Shining. Uh, the main reason why I'm playing this card is for the Thunder matchup because uh, it, versus the Thunder matchup, since Castles got banned, you need this card to out the Titan because you make this crash into the Titan and then you get back uh, to be your banished E, e hero, heroes back to your hand so, so that you can do follow plays and get to you like hand advantage too. So that's the main reason why why it's there. Um Sunrise to search Miracle Vision. Uh this card's on field effect is also pretty good because what it does is that when this card uh this card it lets your monsters gain 200 attack for each different attribute that you control. So your monsters they all have different attributes, so you're gonna get at least 600 plus attack from this card. And then during either player's turn, when your uh, hero monster has declared, declared on attack, you pop one card on the field. So, yeah, that effect is pretty good too. But, the uh, main reason why I'm playing this card is to search miracle version so that you can, so that, uh, so that. You can either go for game or give you advantage. Um, dangerous. Uh, this car is for vision destiny. In the last list, I wasn't playing this, but this list you actually need to play it because I'm not playing many. As uh my destiny lineup is not it's not that bad, so I need to play another G here vision. That's not Dystopia. So uh, speaking of which, I still play Dystopia. Car is really really good because it's it's another form of interruption. On Trinity of a game and Militia Spain because Militia Spain is a really, really good card. There are a lot of decks that cannot out this card or they have to use like a lot of cards just so just to like out this card. Okay, so yeah, that pretty much does it for my hero list for post magical hero and the January 2020 balance. Uh, Actually, but a hero is gonna be a good deck this format because it's like really, really good, good deck to like actually play right now. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video and just leave a power signing out. Peace out, guys. Peace out.